Hello everybody, welcome to the next Geog Pod. Um, this one is focusing down a bit more on the exam board itself and what the exam board require for a 12 mark assessed question. And what we're going to do here is we're going to break down um, a 12 mark um, set of questions in terms of the elements that you need to put into a 12 mark assessed question. So the elements of the level three mark band. Now, we, we're constantly going over level one, level two and level three. But the level three mark band is what you should all be aiming for. These are the nine, 10, 11 and 12 marks in a 12 mark assessed question. So where I want to start with is a bit of a reminder to you. And the question here is, well, you could, first of all, you're going to have two papers. Paper one, physical. Paper two is your human. There is a third paper, which we'll do a, a separate job pod on. But where in these two papers will you get a 12 mark assessed question? And it's vital that you know this and you are prepared for this when you go into the exams. So in your physical paper one, you will get a 12 mark assess question in the tectonic processes and hazards section and you will also get one 12 mark question 12 mark assess question in the combination unit of water cycle and insecurity and the carbon cycle and energy security so you will get two 12 mark assess questions in paper one in paper two slightly different there is a combination section unit in the paper globalization and superpowers. As you know, we teach those as two separate units, but they are combined in the exam paper. And here you will get two 12 mark essay questions. That's the only section of the paper, but you get two in there. So you won't get 12 markers in diverse places and you will not get 12 markers in the migration identity and sovereignty unit just globalization and superpowers and again for the third time you'll get two of them okay i want to remind you here because the assessment objectives that are set by edxl a level geography are vitally important when we delve into what lies behind these 12 mark assess questions so your assessment objective one, remind yourself, is where you are demonstrating your knowledge and your understanding. Now, knowledge and understanding in a variety of contexts in A-level geography, in places, in environments, processes, concepts, how different people and different environments interact with each other and change. And there's a key bit there at a variety of scales, at the local, the national, and at the international level. The smaller mark questions, the the fours, the six mark questions tend to be assessing your AO1, your demonstration of knowledge and understanding. Then comes along the assessment objective two. This is where you start to apply that knowledge and understanding in different contexts, in different um, types of questions where you start to interpret evidence, where you start to analyze data and different pieces of evidence. And again, you start to evaluate as well. So the, the bigger mark questions, the eights, the twelves, the 20 mark essays is where you'll really start to see a heavier element of AO2. And then your AO3. This is this is where paper three comes into play a lot more here. A lot of paper three is exploring AO1, AO2 and AO3. Heavier weighting on the AO3. But you do get elements of AO3 in paper one and paper two as well, because you are investigating geographical questions exactly like you're doing in your NEA. The, the second bullet point in particular is relevant to paper one and paper two, where you start, they will give you tables of data at some point uh, and graphs and so on and maps, which you have to interpret, you have to analyze, you have to evaluate, pick out evidence. So AO1, AO2, and AO3 are very important when we come to 12 mark assess essay questions, more so the AO1, the AO2, with elements of AO3 built in there. Okay, so this is where we have this lovely term that I introduced a few years ago called a U backer. 
U-B-A-C-K-E-R. Now, these are the elements of the level three mark band for a 12 mark assess question. If you cover these elements in your 12 mark essay, you will get between nine and 12 marks. Now, that sounds really easy. It's not as easy as that. Of course it's not. But what do these letters stand for? What are these characteristics that must shine through a 12 mark assess question for you? U stands for understanding. We'll explore each of these elements in a minute. The B is asking you to have some sort of balance in your answer. A is accuracy. C is all about connections and relationships. K is your knowledge. E is your evidence. And R is all to do with relevance. So you can see where I get the U backer from. So what do each of these different elements of the level three mark band actually ask you to do? So the understanding is where you've got to show your understanding of geographical theory and factors and reasonings, the explanations that lie behind different geographical elements and so on. You've got to show what you understand in the essay question. Balance. Is all to do with the significance. Now, if you think back to the other piece of advice and guidance we've given you throughout the whole course and the other job pods, in a 12 mark assess question, you are prioritizing your paragraphs from the most important factor down to the least important factor. That is the balance. And you've got to get that in your 12 mark essay answers. Accuracy, you've got to make sure you are accurate. Everything you say has got to be accurate and correct. You've got to be giving the right reasons, the right factors, developing the right theory that's appropriate for particular questions, applying the right case study examples to your explanations, and then try and put in, when you're using case study example evidence, try and get in data and figures. So the connections and relationships is often the part where we talk about synopticity, the synoptic elements of units of study and how they link in with other parts of the same unit and other parts of other units. So you need to be showing in your 12 mark essay answers an indication that either factors or reasons or disadvantages and advantages, whatever it is, are linked in some way. The knowledge, very closely linked to the understanding, to be honest with you. Again, it goes back to the geographical theory, the factors, the reasoning that lie behind whatever you are saying. And you've got to make sure that is accurate. Evidence is your case study examples. Your examples that you are using to back up the explanation, the understanding, the knowledge that you are portraying in each of your paragraphs. And whenever you're using case study example evidence, bring in data, figures, place names, be place specific. And all of that supports the theory and the reasons and the factors that you've explained in general. And then relevance. Everything you say, everything you put into every paragraph needs to be answering the question. If it's not answering the question in some way, do not put it in. So you can see all of those different elements, you can quite easily get into a 12 mark assess answer. And all of this is built into the normal structure that we apply to those sorts of questions. So, as I've said, you need to be showing the U backer elements through the use of peel. Now, we know, you know, each of your paragraphs, apart from your introductory paragraph for a 12 mark essay, need to be peeled. You, the first thing you do in any paragraph, don't start waffling on, make a clear point, make that statement clear. Get it in there, the first sentence. What you then must do is explain that point in general, general geographic terms first. 
before you then go into your example evidence, which is your case studies. So you make your point, you explain it fully in general first, general geographic knowledge first, then apply the example case study evidence to back up and give evidence for what you've said. Your final sentence must of the paragraph must then link the whole paragraph back to the question. So this is taken directly from the, the exam board specification. And just have a read of this. I'm not going to read it to you. This is the advice from the exam board in their spec on what assess actually means. As you can see within there, it talks about extended writing. It is an essay. You will need to bring examples of case studies in there. You do need to be considering factors in priority order. You can see there it says identify which are the most important. So put your most important factor first, reason, disadvantage, advantage, whatever it is, right down to the least important. And you can see there, there's a bold word. It says assess does not require a conclusion. So you don't need to waste space and time concluding at the end. So that's some advice and guidance on the U backer, which are the key elements of the level three mark band, the nine to 12 marks for the assess essay questions. Please revisit this a few times um, and then start to apply this to your practice questions as well. So good luck, folks, and I will see you again in another joke pod.